What's up guys, I'm back here in the swamp today uh, with another unboxing. I am just here picking this thing up and I figured it's nice out still, relatively. I mean, that's the first snow you could probably see going across my face. Standing out in the swamp, as you see, it's partially frozen. Tis the season, ice fishing's coming, deer season's this weekend. Boy, am I ready for it. So I'm just gonna cut into it. There's a couple things in here that I've been just fiending for for quite some time now and just never bought. Um, but I'm very, very, very excited. And first off, I ordered this, like, I think Thursday last week. It is, like, what is it, November 15th or something? I don't know. But, uh, yeah, this came super, super fast, and Eisenwald must have, like, paid for special shipping or something. Um, if not, whatever, but cool. So, yeah, a little thank you card that's gonna go in the specialty box here. Very, very nice. Very excited for that. Uh, came in this little tiny thing too which is odd the only thing that sucks about standing here <laughs> is i'm gonna have to sit here and struggle with the stuff so first one agalock uh serpent in the sphere i don't own this obviously that's why i bought it um but i have been fiending for this guy for a while and i saw that they had like fresh copies that were still in print which i thought they were out of print for whatever reason uh maybe just discogs guys suck I couldn't really tell you. Just getting this open. Nice die cut cover there. Very nice. Very, very pretty. Uh, this is an Agalock album I don't know as well. It's stuff like Pale Folklore or The Mantle or uh, Meryl the Spirit. But uh, yeah, it's cool. Booklet inside goes in between there. Yeah, I don't really know this one all that well really at all actually um i know a couple tracks like i've i've listened to this before but i haven't spent time with it agalock first off speaking of this is the mantle by agalock oh uh, this is the reissue cover which i didn't originally want but the original pressing and stuff with the proper cover it's kind of expensive and i'm kind of a cheapskate so i didn't want to spend the extra cash on it yeah, there's that reissue cover. Honestly, it's still pretty cool. Looks like an elk on the front. Very, very classic. Very necessary stuff. This is the kind of stuff I'm really into this time of year as well. Um, it's kind of got this kind of uh, reflective hue on there. Very nice. But you guys have all heard this. I mean, it's one of the most classic American black metal albums of all time. Sorry, I'm just crouching down. I hope you guys enjoy that. <laughs> Uh, this is Agalock's Ashes Against the Grain. Another one I don't know all that well. After this, I still need to pick up a couple more of their releases. I think they need to reissue that demo. Uh, that first demo they did in, what was that, 98? Um, but I doubt that's actually going to happen. As wonderful as that would be. I would love to start a label and just like reissue some like super obscure crap that hasn't been touched in years like malignant eternal needs a reissue real bad uh stuff like that beautiful excited to spend some time with this this is the season got a couple extra things in here oh these are cool got, oh this is so sick really killer agalock sticker oh i love these i'm so happy i have these right now nice agalock sticker there logo and then this one Looks very good. Huge, huge fan. Big fan of that. Uh, this is a sick fan patch. Working on my jacket that I've been working on. I usually wear it, but I put this on so you guys didn't see it until it was done. And then this killer Alda patch. I've been wanting an Alda patch for a while. They made one of my favorite black metal albums of all time. So, very mission critical. Alright. Let me get these bad boys out of here. Speaking of Alda... This is the self-titled Alda album. Uh, deluxe re-reissue of Alda's debut Digi Sleeve CD, CD Digi Pack with a fold-out booklet poster. Not a huge fan of the booklet posters. I won't use it because I am the nerdy collector completionist type. Um, but I will keep the hype sticker because I am a nerdy <laughs> collector type. Um, so yeah, I'm going to cut that out real quick while I'm on here. So yeah, 
Uh, this first Alda album, I believe I've heard a couple of times. I don't know it as well as the other stuff, obviously, because I haven't had it. Um, yeah, beautiful pack, beautiful digi pack, digi sleeve as they called it. This is kind of cool, a little cutout for where the CD is. What's on the CD though? That's the real question. I have mixed emotions though about these kind of like, that's why. Why is it on both? All right, it's just a bird. That's the digi sleeve with the opening thing. Looks very nice, very excited to have this in the collection. I will be studying. That is for certain gold standard black metal from the States. Oh, all the sticker. And Eisenwald, you guys rule. If you guys are looking for this stuff, why did they give me two of these? Okay, so they sent me two copies of A Distant Fire for whatever reason that may be. Um, yeah, so I guess I might have ordered two. So I don't know what I'm going to do with these quite yet. It might wind up in a VCLT package. Uh, but I'm going to keep one packaged and I will save the other. Um, but yeah, I'm really surprised that I got two. I'm usually pretty good about uh, making sure I don't spend more than I need to. Or maybe it was an issue on their part. I'll have to check the order on my email. But this is the new Alda from this album. Or from, the, from this year. New Alda album from 2021. Came out a month or two back. A little hype sticker. I absolutely adore this. Uh, this is going to wind up pretty pretty high on my end of the year list. As you more than likely would expect. Um, but yeah, I'm hyped on this. Beautiful, beautiful cover. Sorry if I'm kind of shaky. It's like 31 degrees out right now. And I'm still acclimating to the fall. Another gold standard black metal album. Uh, this year's been awesome for some tunes. Last year was amazing as well. Definitely check out this Alba album if you have not. It's great. Cascadian. Uh, it's not as folky as like Tahoma and stuff, but it's still, still great. And the last one I stuck in my pocket, but I'm a moron and probably shouldn't have because these coats are tight. And they're kind of tough to get things out of. There we go. And Passage. I think that rounds out my all the collection. I think. This one's out on Bind Room. I see the sigil on the back. Uh, bind Rune, excuse me. I just called it Bind Room. That sounds dumb. But yeah, this is a, a quality, quality record. I saw them touring this album um, in whatever year that was. 20, I think the end of 2017. I saw these guys with Panopticon and Falso Raros and Woman is the Earth. It was an absolutely stellar show. Beautiful cover. Beautiful disc tray. Or beautiful disc art, excuse me. Let me stick this thing in here. Yeah, um, I don't think that this has gotten the love that it deserves. I don't think all the gets the, the love they deserve because honestly, absolutely amazing. I absolutely adore this band and their stuff is just so consistent and so top quality all the time. I'm super hyped to have this one. I mean, the Crooked Trail is a great tune. Um, yeah, so that's gonna be good for my Eisenwald unboxing here, guys. Uh, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this. It's gonna be a beautiful year, I think. Look at that, man. Look at those, look at those colors. Sorry, this willow tree I've been standing in. I'm using the bark currently to hold up the video. Um, <laughs> so, yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. Keep it greasy.